Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you uh, some tips for the Classic Pass. If you guys don't know what the Classic Pass is, I'll go over it uh, briefly and then I'll give you some tips on how to do it, okay? So basically what the Classic Pass is, is basically a way of cutting the cards invisibly um, without letting the spectator see. Now, it usually is a very quick uh, motion uh, and you do it usually under misdirection. <clears throat> so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, I'm going to just give you a brief overview of the Classic Pass and we'll go over um, some tips on how to, you know, not make mistakes doing this. So, uh, what you want to do is first begin by um, having a card selected. So you can do this in any method you want. Uh, I have a tutorial talking about um, spreading the cards, okay? And you can just look up, uh, look it up. It's on my channel. <clears throat> so what you want to do is get a card selected any way you like. So let's say they touch a card and it's this card here. Then you're going to show them the card. Okay? So in this case it's the Queen of Clubs. Now what you're going to do is you're going to flip the card back over and this is the important part. You're going to square the cards up and uh, in this case it's really important if the spectators are one of those hard hecklers um, of course, you want it to be as clean as possible. So you're actually going to, you know, not get a break. <clears throat> <clears throat> so their queen is actually completely lost. Now to do the classic pass and to bring it to the top, you're going to uh, misdirect them. And this is an old classic in magic that you can do, um, and it works every single time. So you begin to look upwards, okay? And you're going to say, oh, um, it's... Is that, a, some, is that a fly on the ceiling? Just make up something, say like, um, just, just anything to misdirect their attention to the ceiling, okay? So you're gonna get them to start looking upwards, and as they do, you say, okay, keep looking there. Um, keep your eye on the bug, the insect, and we'll, we'll keep the trick going, okay? So <clears throat> then, then while they're looking at the ceiling, you're gonna start going through the cards really, really, really quickly. And meanwhile, you don't show them this, but you're looking for the Queen of Clubs, okay? And then you're set, you're just gonna quickly break where the Queen is on the bottom of the upper half, and you're gonna move it to the top, okay? <clears throat> and then as they look back down, you quickly turn the deck over end for end, and you have completed the classic pass. So let, let me go over this one more time. Um, it really works on any type of spectator, especially on those hard hecklers, okay? So I'll go over it once again. You're going to have them select a card. You spread out the cards, and let's say they choose this one. You turn it over. You don't even have to turn it over. You can give it to the, you can give it to the spectator. You don't have to look at it. Um, so it's the Nine of Clubs. And then once they put it back, um, you're going <clears> to... <throat> you're going to put all the rest of the cards back together. And you're not going to maintain a break, okay? Just like this. Now, a way you're going to try to sneak a glimpse at the card is, once again, you're going to tell them to misdirect, or you're going to misdirect their attention by telling them to look upwards and say, oh, look, there's an insect on the ceiling. Can you uh, do me a favor and just stare at the ceiling for a minute? So they're going to do that. And then you're going to start going through the cards. And in the meantime, you've already found a key card, okay? So... In this case, your key card was the Four of Spades, and you know right next to the Four of Spades is the Nine of Clubs, which is their selected card. So, you're going to um, cut the cards where the Nine of Clubs is, and then you're going to quickly cut it to the top, and as they turn around, you flip the deck over, and there you go. They haven't seen anything, and it's pretty much invisible, because their attention is misdirected, they're not paying attention to you, and you have done the classic pass. So I'll go over it one more time and um, we'll, I, I hope you learned something from this. So once again, have them select a card and it, it is easier if you look at it so you know it's the Ace of Diamonds as well and then say we're going to lose it in the deck and this is really good for those hard spectators because they really see the card is lost. Now you say, okay, would you mind um, looking up at the ceiling for me? Um, there, there's something that I really want you to see and look there for at least two seconds. So you're going to turn the deck over as they do so. Quickly run through the cards and pick out their card. In this case, I think it was the Ace of Diamonds. You're going to cut the cards where the Ace is. 
cut it to the top, and then turn the deck over end for end. And there you go, you have completed the classic pass. It's an invisible move <clears throat> that can be done even if spectators are burning your hands, um, but they won't be since you misdirected their attention. So that's the classic pass. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. Um, please leave a comment and tell me what you want to learn next. Thanks a lot, guys.